Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back to the EVE Online tutorials. So we are back where we last left off. And uh, we the last thing we did was uh, put this small armor repair 1 uh, module in our ship um, instead of the civilian uh, armor repair. And uh, we get clicked next when you have removed the old module and fitted the new one. So. We'll, uh, we'll continue this and try to finish off the basics in this video. So uh, let's press next. <clears throat> Finding your skills on the character sheet. It just uh, shows that once again with a pop-up. And I've already showed this before. You can just press on your character sheet. And uh, you have uh, a skills tab right there. Which is, uh, These are all my skills. You'll, have, you'll start off with a lot less. Um, <clears throat> normally by the time you finish that mission... Uh, the um, the skill you received will be completely trained and uh, at this point the tutorial suggests that in spaceship command uh, you start to train um, the skill for your uh, race uh, in frigates uh, like uh, Kaldari frigate here or in this case it would be Galente frigate uh, right there which is already at level 5 for me and to start training that to level 3 <coughs> so how you would simply do that uh, let me quickly add let's see if I can just find a quick uh, skill that's there you go Kaldari industrial would only take 12 hours so you can just drag and drop these again uh, in your skill queue and like this now uh, Kaldari industrial will be done in 12 hours and hacking level 5 will be done in 10 days which should be just in time for EVE Online Odyssey um, yeah so basically this system is being explained at this point in the tutorial um, yeah, for any player that starts out, I'd say always try and have this bar filled up uh, so, so you're 24 hours clear in the clear that your character will continue to train. And uh, obviously, uh, long term, it, the idea is to just keep this filled at any time um, so that you don't waste any of the, of the time that, are, that is given to you acquiring more and more skill points. So click next when you've started the skill training, that's okay. Learning how to queue additional skills, I just explained that. Setting a destination to another system. Um, so we'll get a new mission and then we should have a, a destination. So uh, here we go, I'll accept the mission. Excellent, don't forget to take your time. So we'll have to travel to the academy, retrieve the pilot certification documents from the office and bring them back to Aura. And this should be in iDart. Uh, you can then right click on that, you can see that in the tutorial uh, page as well, just right click on that destination and one jump out should be iDart and once again there's a location in space where I'll be able to warp to, so click next when you've set the destination, this shows up right there uh, on the left part as a route uh, which is just one jump, so that's done. You should now undock, so let's do that. And I should head for the star gate, which will be shown in yellow uh, along my route. So I'm undocking. Here we are back in space in the Velator. I can close the, the mission window and I can actually put up the, the journal so you can see here is the Aura accepted mission. <clears throat> and um, yep, there you go. The eye dart gate is now in yellow, so I can just select that and click jump. So I'm now heading to it and, um, and when you've jumped through the gate is when I can please press next. Um, I just clicked the jump button already but you can once again always right click and jump or uh, right click warp to uh, any, any action you really want to take you can get it right from the overview or from the selected item. Um, this small icon here is the cargo, I like to fly with the cargo bay open like this. Um, it just depends on what you want to do really uh, if you want to uh, fly with the with this open or not uh, a lot of people don't like too many windows on there but personally i do like uh, to fly with the cargo bay open so we'll be jumping into iDart right now and there is your first um, jump gate effect which will change severely in odyssey as well and here we are in the next system we're as you can see still well within the uh, Galente Nebula um, 
so we are well uh, in the Galente Nebula um, but uh, yeah we're one system uh, further away now and um, I can press next I have once again have to warp to the location of the mission so by now you should be pretty much used to that on the left side you have your agent mission that's active and you can always click on it for some of the details and warp to the location that way you can also read the details if you want so that's basically the mission or you can also start a conversation uh, with the agent or in this case aura which gave you the mission so we're in warp click next when you arrive at the mission location so let's just wait for that Felator is a go and um, yeah there you can see the, uh, the small gun that's uh, that's on there which uh, it only has one gun hard point I think maybe two <clears throat> um, that could maybe be a bit confusing so I'll quickly explain that I only have one gun <coughs> I only have one gun on there but you can see three guns on my ship so this is part of uh, EVE Online graphics basically this is one gun but it, it will cover everything around my ship in front behind above or below it so only one gun will be shooting at any one time but like this graphically they can make it so that it always makes sense so here we are we've arrived um, at the Galente Academy office and uh, you can see at this point they will also show you uh, all of the ships from your race so you can have a look at that um, but our first target is to uh, approach the Galente Academy and retrieve what's inside there so let's do that and uh, let's put the tracking camera a little bit somewhere else so that it doesn't come right behind my ship so here we are approaching once again I'm within 2500 so I can control space to stop my ship I can open up the cargo bay and my pilot certification document is in there so let's loot all and now it's inside my ventilator and I can close this window and there we go so let's take a moment to look more closely at our surroundings that's the next part of the tutorial it's the look at uh, feature so uh, for instance you can already see uh, some civilian Amar bestower uh, right now on the overview um, I have a second tab right here which says all and you can also see uh, some different type of ships and I think uh, the main part um, of this is really going to be all of these battleships which you can actually also click right there from in space so let's see right there we have a Hyperion battleship um, once it's in the selected item button you also have the look at option or you can I think right click and look at which will move the camera um, to the object you've selected in this case Hyperion battleship next to it we have a Megatron battleship so there's that what that looks like and then we're moving on to the Dominix which is a drone battleship one of the best in the game uh, which can field five heavy drones a pretty cool one in my opinion here is the Myrmidon uh, one of the battle cruisers and here is the <laughs> Brutix and that's what that baby looks like pretty uh, strong gunship next up we have executor cruisers here are the uh, thoraxes and I'm sure that uh, for every race they'll basically have um, a spot like this where they show off all the different kind of ships and here we move on to the Celestis cruiser and here finally we have uh, even smaller the destroyers and in this case these are catalysts which are Galente destroyers and on the other side uh, let me quickly see what this will show hmm, that's just another civilian thorax uh, let's see what's up over here Federation freight vessel so um, is there a, a one that shows the name on this side there you go it's the obelisk which is a, a, a ship that has an enormous amount of cargo space as you can see my villagers get just 135 cubic meters uh, this gets hundreds of thousands of them so you can really transport quite a lot in, in a ship like that here are some smaller transport ships um, Itron Mark 4 Mark five mark one etc just um, with more skills you learn to fly more and more of these ships so that looks 
pretty good uh, there's also all the frigates around there but that's a little bit harder to see um, but yeah here are also all of the Galinte frigates being shown and it's also Molus there we go like that and it just keeps going or not uh, not sure I think it seems to stop at the Molus's nope here we go next ones which are Tristan hulls looks like that and uh, yeah, every race has uh, a, a different version of the same class of ships right there. So here we have a Navitas frigate. I think that's more of a mining frigate. And are we done? No, we're not done yet. Here we have uh, the Atron um, class hull. Now all of this is still just the Take One version. So if you think is that's all, are these all the ships from one race? Nope. All of these have Take Two versions. There are also Take Three ships. So there's quite a lot more to explore in EVO Line, and every race uh, has all of their own versions. So times four, which is really a lot of ships uh, to go through and to skill for. So that was a look around. Um, next part show uh, use the show info to find more information that's also pretty um, <clears throat> important let's say that I click on this Galente Hyperion battleship you can always right click it and press show info and here we go we get some more information on the Galente Hyperion battleship um, apparently in in this Let's have a show info on um, on the obelisk here. Yeah, apparently here these are uh, special uh, ships uh, with only one description in there and no more information. But if you want to find out more, you can just easily go to the market, go to the ships, and here you will have all of these uh, ships as well. Let's go for a standard Galente uh, Thorax, for instance, which we found. There's also a show info button on that. You get once again a description. But then you also get attributes, uh, fitting capabilities, for instance this Torax has 5 low slots, 4 mid slots, 5 high slots and 5 turret hard points and 3 slots for rigs. And finally uh, the one that is probably going to be the most uh, interesting one for new players is the prerequisites tab which shows what skills you need in order to fly this ship. And of course all the modules have an exact same um, information on it like this uh, small arm repair has some prerequisites which I already have a description uh, some attributes like how how much uh, it repairs how, how fast the cycle is um, a fitting requirements etc so all of this is just from the right quick uh, right click menu on the show info button pretty important to know <laughs> next up um, using show info elsewhere in the interface yeah that's what I basically just explained you can always go through the market where you'll find pretty much anything and um, you can do it pretty much anywhere is there an item in your cargo bay uh, that you want to have a show info on you can always do that um, is it uh, some, something floating in space you can press the show info button and you'll find it like that you can probably even do it on a stargate there you go stargate to system fart uh, stargate from a galente system you get some attributes at it look at that mass and volume and jumps i dart in system fart etc so yeah that's that's a pretty important aspect you can basically do a show info on almost anything let's actually also do a show info uh, on this large station here Federation Administrative Outpost, Standard Outpost of Galentian Design. Uh, this is the stuff that gets built in 00. zero. Looks pretty impressive, I think. Um, <coughs> finally, <coughs> what's that? Finding mission information in the journal. I think we've covered that before actually, but uh, you can always uh, press your journal and then find uh, a mission that you have accepted. Just double click on that there is the mission objective so it turns out that um, yeah, I can press next uh, that I have what I need you can see that with a small V I just need to bring it to the drop-off location which is the station in Sistuvart once again on this station I can do a right click I can press set destination and my route will be shown once again one jump out and um, a gate shows up in yellow where I have to go to so the set destination is set and next when you've docked and completed the mission so all I need to do is jump towards that system 
activate my warp drive dock up and complete the mission so we'll go and do that right now while I blow my nose for a second and that was at 15 so I'll probably try and edit out on edit out all of my bestial sounds uh, for the uh, for the video because uh, it could be a bit annoying but uh, let's move on in warp back towards Sistufart and uh, obviously <coughs> um, this is just one jump but sometimes you can be forced to go uh, quite a few more jumps in order to do your delivery or to uh, find your location where you have to shoot down some pirates stuff like that but uh, this is just a tutorial on how to get to missions um, the station is also shown in yellow so you, I can always select that and dock alternatively as always you can do right click stations and then press the dock button so that's all working out pretty good <clears throat> and uh, we have this pilot certification which is the object we need to bring back so in warp finally uh, we're pretty much coming to the end and um, and at this point basically you're finding out how to move around you're finding out how to get missions uh, how to shoot stuff how to loot stuff in space and all of that so you're really getting your basics down and um, yeah pretty much you're you're almost ready for the big adventure of what's EVE Online at this point And here we go, uh, so just once again start a conversation with Aura, complete the mission and I happen to be in a fleet so no I want to claim the rewards for myself which is done now, I get 500 isk, wow incredible, that's not gonna add a lot but uh, for new players of course that could add a little bit. So press next, now that you've Covered the basics uh, of capsule piloting, you are ready for some advanced training courses. Each course covers a particular area of specialization. Um, so we'll request a new mission, start conversation. And um, I have to bring a clearest document to, from Sistuvart, which is right here, to uh, Clelinon. That's a bit of a strange name, so I'll, I'll already put a set destination, which is three jumps away. So I will accept that. Um, I have clearance documents now in my item hanger. Uh, the task you've accepted is a career mission. You have to bring the clearance documents and I need to move them from my item hanger into my validator right there. So now I have the clearance documents in here. Also this freedom of operation license. And yep, grab, grab them to your ship, press next. And uh, now I'm off to the drop-off location. Set destination has already been set. To reach your destination, we will need to cross several solar systems. So, uh, oh, uh, she asked me to undock and activate the autopilot. So obviously I'll show that um, because it's part of the tutorial, but really uh, as an EVE player, you don't want to use that. So I'm undocked and I can activate my autopilot. And now that it's engaged, it will automatically warp me to the gate, uh, fly me towards it, jump through and go to the next one, etc. So this is all on autopilot. I'll let it do a little bit. But in a moment you will see why this is actually a bad idea. Whenever I manually fly to a gate, I will jump right on top of the gate within zero meters. So I will be able to jump uh, straight through. Unfortunately, the autopilot will not work like that. Um, he'll probably end up uh, warping me uh, like a few kilometers off the gate still needing to slow boat towards it and that's the big disadvantage and risk of course as well uh, of the autopilot uh, if anyone would be waiting for you at the gate with bad intentions um, in high sec the chances are low but not non-existent and here we go I warp in on the gate at 15 kilometers something like that so my autopilot will tell me to automatically um, 
go towards the gate but at this point I am ver very vulnerable uh, pretty far away from the gate you know I get some room uh, some some distance left to travel and if there's anyone out there that would want to suicide gank me at this point because I've got like a plex in my in my uh, cargo hold um, they would be able to do so and yeah really you'd be in trouble because of your autopilot so we're continually approaching the stargate and we're jumping in now while we're in autopilot I guess this is part of the tutorial um, she's explaining us about the jump clones so uh, yeah why why not I'll let it do a little bit and uh, we'll quickly cover these topics as well so jump clones um, um, or clones not just the jump clones this is all about the clones whenever I, my ship is destroyed I would end up in my pot just like in the beginning of the tutorial uh, if that one gets destroyed your current body is dead and gone and you're instantly transferred into a new clone that is ready for you uh, what you have to know about this is that these clones have a limited amount of skill points that gets transferred transfer to them and if they're too low you'll start losing skill points uh, when you're killed and you jump into this new clone that is not prepared for you so how do you find out about all of this basically you go to your character sheet and at the top you find your current skill points I have 62.6 million and underneath that you have clone and I'm on clone grade row which has 71 million skill points so that's not a problem uh, for me if I were to die right now I would jump into this clone grade row and it has room for 71 million skill points so everything gets transferred no problem but you do need to buy these clones every time you die um, if I'm not mistaken from from yesterday with my friend uh, he starts off with like 55,000 skill points and his first uh, clone has more than enough something like 90,000 or even 900,000 skill points uh, clone great alpha I think it was called so yeah there you go that's the clones something pretty important to remember uh, that your skill points should always be lower than your clone um, grade basically so that's that we're still um, one jump away so let's press next learning learning about corporations here is the corporation tab you can always have uh, I am already in a player corporation you start off in an NPC one um, but uh, yeah with recruitment is it here no that's all within my corporation but yeah you have to check that out a little bit uh, find a corporation that does the same thing you enjoy whether it's exploration uh, mining and industry uh, PvP if you want to be a pirate part of a big zero zero alliance and all of that uh, you'll find those in corporation recruitment and uh, yeah try and contact them try and get into those corporations because uh, it really adds a lot to the game <laughs> learning about skills uh, I think we've covered that a few times before already uh, yeah just go to your character sheet once again uh, you have a lot of different tabs like your combat law kill right etc but the top one is skills it's extremely important that you keep uh, that training queue filled at all time because that way you get most out of your uh, paid time basically uh, you pay for 30 days and um, if you keep that filled you'll get uh, the maximum out of it you can of course also uh, increase your skill training with augmentations such as uh, implants which you can buy from the market or earn from some missions uh, it, uh, it helps a little bit but um, yeah it's all being made quite a lot easier than it was before so I wouldn't worry too much about that in the beginning uh, as you do some missions and is the autopilot going to dock me yep yep he's going to dock me as well pretty cool uh, but uh, I'll deactivate it at this point because uh, normally uh, I'd be here uh, way more quickly if I didn't use the autopilot but uh, it's a chance to cover all of these topics so docking at your destination and completing our mission is what we'll end up doing and uh, that'll be it for the basics um, still I'm already at almost 25 minutes so I'd say you're you're probably gonna need a good hour just to get the basics of the basics uh, down which is uh, going somewhere warping somewhere shooting something looting something and get grabbing some missions so you can get started uh, in the EVE universe you know about the skill training which is of course extremely important as well um, and this is just scratching the surface but I think if you can get through this uh, you'll have 
come on, I want to dock there. Um, if you can get through this, you will have uh, your basics down of EVE Online. Um, you'll be familiar with flying in space, uh, with the overview a little bit. And um, yeah, it's, it's really important that you do uh, these, these very first tutorials. Um, and I would say if you have no one um, that's like on Skype or something uh, that can talk you through most of this, you really want to uh, read all of the text and take your time to familiarize yourself with all the buttons you need to press and stuff like that. So we'll dock you up. and complete the mission and at this point we'll basically be a certified pot pilot so we'll talk to Aura and we'll complete the mission I want to claim this for myself for now no need to worry um, if, if you don't have that it's because I am in a fleet with uh, Pangsters right here who is uh, our friend that is giving it a try I can press next and here are the career agents that pop up then uh, you have business exploration industry military and advanced military um, i highly recommend that you try to and do all of them i'd say start off with military he'll give you some skills ships and uh, some nice money uh, but yeah that's basically the basics well done we are right there uh, we're through the basic tutorials um, if you want to do those again let's uh, press done if you want to do those again you can always press on the um, if help button then go to tutorials and just start off from the back but this is what we've done the basic tutorial up to 24 points to get to the career agents uh, which at this point uh, the first one um, in my journal you can already see that Seville Aeron who is the military one um, has offered me one because I started the conversation uh, when we were go going through things uh, with this uh, friend of mine that just gave EVE Online a try but uh, there you go guys, uh, that's it for the basics of EVE Online, the very first few tutorials. And uh, depending on how much time I'll have, maybe I'll, I'll uh, chuck through the military um, tutorials next. But for now, are you sure you want to do this? Yep, because I'm in the station anyway. And for now, uh, I'll see you all next time.